Hello everyone and welcome back to Steven Play's Magic the Gathering Duels of the Planeswalkers. When we last left off, we beat Garrick in what was, quite honestly, a pretty fun fight. Um, it was really close, uh, quite a blast. Today we're going to be fighting Liliana Vess and this time we're going to be fighting for presumably her deck. We're going to unlock a new deck, I'm guessing it's the black deck because it's the one we don't have. I, did, I decided that today we're going to be using the green deck since um, I don't believe we've used it since the first battle. So um, without further ado, let's get to fighting Liliana. Beat her to death with the power of green. All right, we get to go first, which is nice. We've got two lands. We have a uh, one drop, which is a zero three defender. We also have a two drop, which is a two two grizzly bear. We have a reach, which is nice. A uh, bigger creature to build up to a spined worm and rampant growth to go get more land. This is a perfect hand. I will keep. Turn one is going to be our uh, wall of wood. Excellent. I probably shouldn't say that this is a perfect hand. Someone's going to call me out on that. It isn't. It isn't perfect. It's nearly perfect. It's very nice. She's playing the rack. As the rack enters the battlefield, choose an opponent. I'm the only opponent, so that's going to be me. At the beginning of the chosen player's upkeep, so at the beginning of my turn, the rack deals X damage to that player, where X is three minus the number of cards in his or her hand. Ouch. So if I ever have two or less cards in my hand, I'm going to feel the pain. That sucks. Okay, well, as anxious as I am to get rid of all the cards in my hand, it looks like I better hold on to a few of them. First, let's get the Force in there. This is awesome. This is Overrun. It costs three Force and two of any color. It's a sorcery. Creatures you control get plus three, plus three, and gain Trample until end of turn. Now, Trample is strangely, I can't believe we're already on this number episode and we haven't seen Trample. Um, whenever two creatures attack each other, let's say I have a 10-10 creature, right? And I swing with it. And uh, let's say I'm fighting Chandra. She blocks with a 1-1 Raging Goblin. Now, when those creatures uh, attack each other, I'm going to do 10 to its 1. It's going to do 1 to my 10. The creature dies, but that's it. Now, let's imagine for a moment that my 10-10 has Trample. I, that means I do enough damage to the creature, to the defending creature, to kill it. All the excess damage gets poured over onto the player. Meaning if I have a 10-10, she blocks with a 1-1. If I, if I have Trample, I'll kill that creature and then do 9 damage to her. It is sick nasty. I really hope we get a chance to use it this battle. Uh, now my option is to get out of the Grizzly Bear, or to go get some more land. This kind of feels like the better option. So I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and do this. This is going to open up my library for me. And because there's only basic land presumably in this entire game, it doesn't really matter. I'm really basing it on the picture. I like this one. All right, so I'm going to turn ahead, but I have to remember that if I have two or less cards, I'm in bad shape. I will I will take damage for that, and that's not fun. She's playing Ravenous Rats 1/1 one, one. whenever it enters the battlefield, I have to discard a card. You suck. And what is she going to have me discard? Well, this sucks. I'm going to get rid of the Grizzly Bears. The reason for this is even though I could go ahead and play it, she might have a Flying Guy. I need to have a Reach Guy out. This is something to build up to, and I, this is just a sweet card. So I'm going to get rid of the Grizzly Bear. Turns out I didn't draw a land. I drew another Spined Worm. Nothing going on over here. Underworld Dreams. We've seen this before. Apparently this is their version of the foil. Whenever I draw a card, I take a damage. That means at the beginning of my turn, I take a damage. If nothing happened the rest of the game, in 20 turns I'd lose. There's my land. Excellent. And I can go ahead and get Giant Spider out. Giant Spider isn't much of a, uh, a hard hitter, but, I mean, it's a creature. And I do need creatures to win. All right. Not going to swing because I have a 2-4. She's playing Crowd of Cinders. Star, Star, Fear. Crowd of Cinders' power and toughness are equal to the number of black permanents you control. So however many black permanents she controls, that is what the um, creature's power and toughness are equal to. Now, a permanent is anything that stays on the field, but remember that land is colorless. So it's not going to be based on your land, because honestly, that'd be crazy. And if you've forgotten, fear means it can only be blocked by creatures that are either black or artifacts. 
This sucks. So we have an unblockable creature that is currently a 3-3. It's a 3-3 because she's got two black creatures and Underworld Dreams. Putting this out on the field and getting out Spined Worm. Ugh. Dang. By playing Spined Worm, I will take damage next turn. But it's got to be done. I got to hit her. I got to hit her hard. And I need to hit her now. I can swing with a 2-4. Um, I think I'm going to wait for uh, this thing to um, attack me. Because... Let's take a look here. Fear. While it's attacking, this creature can't be blocked except by artifact creatures or black creatures. So I could swing, but she'll block it. Nothing will happen. And then next turn she'll swing. So I would be better off waiting for her to swing and be tapped so she can't block me. It's It really pains me to say all that, but let's move on. What are you bringing out now? Megram. Whenever an opponent discards a card, Megram deals two damage to that player. Oh, God. Alright, if I have to discard a card for any reason... Dredge Skeleton, one one that can regenerate. She's putting the hurting on me. This is not cool. Swinging with the 5-5. Five five. Notice it did get really, really big because um, she brought out more black permanents. I really need to get rid of that thing, but I can't block it. Because I only had two cards in my hand, um, I took damage for that. So I had to pay the price. Then I had to uh, get rid of a life point because I drew a card. So this is not good. This is quite, quite bad. Um, actually, it wouldn't be such a bad idea to overrun her, but um, the, the, the trick is going to be, can I get away with it? If I bring out another Spined Worm, I will have a total of 12 available damage. And they'll each do three more, so that's nine more. That's enough to kill her. Uh, if she doesn't block at all. So that's... Obviously, she's going to block. It's hard to tell. This is really anyone's game. The thing is, I'm going to keep taking damage for all this ridiculous garbage. I'm going to play the Spined Worm. I know I'm going to regret it because I'm going to take a damage next turn, but I don't know what else to do. And it's asking me, are you sure you don't want to play that force? I'm sure. I really... It's in my best interest not to. Alright. Um, I can swing. Would probably be a good idea to swing. In fact, I am definitely going to swing. I get some damage in on her now, and the next turn I might be able to overrun her to death. Maybe. We'll see. Bam! Take that, Liliana, you piece of crap. 13. I have a chance to play force. I don't need it. It's a good idea to play a land. Listen, you don't tell me how to play the game. Talk on it. Stupid game's trying to get me to lose. Uh, Alright. So she's putting down another land card. Unholy Strength. Gives the creature plus two plus one. Oh god. This is bad. This is so bad. An 8-7. Fun times. She's swinging for eight. There's nothing I can do. I take three. At the beginning of my turn, I'm going to lose one because I only have two cards in my hand. Then I'm going to take one because I'm drawing a card. Oh my lord! Is this crazy? The answer is yes, it's crazy. However, even though I have one point of health, I have Overrun. And Overrun is going to ruin her freaking day. All of my creatures are freaking huge and have Trample, Liliana. Bet you didn't count on this, did you? Move into the attack phase. Have fun. Blockers? Oh, of course! Now you want to block. Unfortunately, I have trample damage. You can regenerate that stupid skeleton all you want, but all the excess damage goes through. So I do enough to that ravenous rats to kill it, but all the extra damage gets sent to Liliana. Bam. And same for the spined worm. And the other spined worm. Yes! That is the power of freaking Overrun right there. Uh, Overrun is a really popular card for green. Um, anytime me and my friends will, will play uh, Magic, we always play with a cube, which is uh, basically a collection of cards where you can, um, you can randomize it and kind of play for fun. And um, 
I have a friend who loves green, and he, oh man, if Overrun gets passed around where he can pick that up, yeah, man, he grabs that as soon as he can. And you should, it's a crazy card. I mean, Overrun right there, you saw it, even if you didn't know much about Magic, you saw that the one card completely changed the course of the game. We unlock Worm's Tooth, which is the equivalent of the Angel's Feather and the uh, Dragon's Claw for green. And we finally unlocked Eyes of Shadow, which is the black deck. Alrighty, excellent. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. Haven't done so already, highly consider subscribing to Steven Plays. New video game episode every single day. And uh, be sure to join us next time. Now that we have the black deck, maybe it would be fun to use the black deck on Jace Bellerin's butt. Well, not literally the deck, because that's like cards and then applying it to someone's butt. That's just, that's kind of strange. You know what I mean. Anyway, thanks for watching and join me next time.